Hi everyone, welcome to this D&D Oxventure. I am Corazon de Bayena, Heart of the Whale, and I'm named that because I have limbs modified into flippers, non-existent external ear flaps, uh, large tail fin, and flat head. <laughs> uh, I'm Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin, and I also have a flat head, but none of those other bits. And while you're all modifying your mental images of these Dungeons & Dragons characters, I'm Prudence, the Tiefling Warlock, doing it for the aesthetic. <laughs> Uh, I'm Dob the Half-Orc Bard, and what do I have in common with a whale? I suppose I must have a vestigial limb somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You should check. You have yeah. eyes on the side of your head. <laughs> You're um, warm-blooded. You give birth to live young. I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're always do. expelling stale air from your blowhole. <laughs> yeah. I, I swim the length of the planet sometimes in a year to migrate yeah. for warmer waters. Yeah, and your song is very mournful. <laughs> If you were really the heart of a whale, you'd be the size of a VW Beetle. Yeah, to say mm, I'm not. <laughs> it's a fantasy world, anything can be real. Johnny's never Johnny's never set the scale of Geth. Yeah, we could exactly. all be enormous. <laughs> when has it ever been said that Corazon isn't the size of a VW Beetle? I, that is that is true, I've never specified that, but I am literally everyone else in the world, and Yay. frankly I feel Yay. very personally targeted by this intro and all of the whale talk Corazon therein. It. It's all Corazon's oh. fault. <sighs> Hooray, anyway! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray, um, anyway! Hooray, and indeed, oh no! Because we pick up this session uh, immediately after the scary, scary cliffhanger ending of the last one. Uh, because you have uh, emerged from uh, the amazing explore Exploratorium uh, with a map to the Curse Hole, which uh, is, you know, your ultimate destination to lift the curse, finally, from the crew of the Joyful Damnation. But to what's this? Um, there is a strange ship outside um, being crewed by uh, none other than than former crewmates of Corazon de Baena, uh, including uh, Jack Craxon, who... It was Jack Craxon, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he is, he is now... Craxon cast off his disguise because I described him as being tall and blonde and I changed his voice but that was a disguise mm. not a canonical slip up um, <laughs> he, now, he now looks and sounds as you might expect um, yes. and they are all in the th services of one Liliana who is Mutiny. standing and waving at the prow of the ship they have just summoned the joyful damnation um, and um, they have basically said you can have a head start but we're going to catch you we're going to cook you and we're going to eat you. Ah. Like to see Did they try. say that? I forgot. But I don't didn't recall the bit about them eating us, but okay. They're not those exact right. words, but I wouldn't put it past it's them. It's implied. Yeah. If you it's think about implied. it for a second, it's obvious they want to eat us. I mean, look at us. We look delicious. Mm. Who wouldn't eat us? I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> I've it been was very sporting of those cannibal wonderful. pirates to give us a yeah. head start. Yeah. 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 Oh my God, did they, did they eat Merylwen? Oh, but, where yes. is Merylwen? Oh my God, they ate Merylwen. Oh, right, I forgot well, canonically. Yeah. Everyone I, in. I'm afraid everyone canonically Merylwen has been eaten. Uh, <laughs> I saw them get her. Yeah. I look around for Merylwen. Right, as you look around for Merylwen, um, you see, far off in the distance, you see like the plume <laughs> of mist it's coming plate. from a, a whale's blowhole. Um, and sort of a, a, a fluke comes up and... and uh, <laughs> There's a there's a Yelp review for this new eatery. Um, <laughs> the, this fluke kind of splashes down in the water, and then there is a strange whistling noise. It's like, and then an arrow sticks into uh, the sand next to you with a, a scroll attached. Oh my God! I open it up. It says, "I've been eaten." <laughs> it's, um, it's a note from uh, Merylwen that uh, says, "I've been eaten." Brackets. Don't worry. I'm just inside the whale. We can travel faster that way, um, but I've I'm go I've gone to mediate between the whale and panniers, <laughs> oh, and Mary make Aww. sure everything gets Aww. back on track. Aww. Love you lots. Good luck. Yeah, that is so important. Not being eaten, yeah. but also that precious relationship. Both when I priorities. abandon the party to be killed by Liliana, that's probably how I'll do it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, well, in front of you, uh, well, sort of off to the side, now um, now stands the Joyful Damnation, ready to sail. Um, and basically, the, the entire crew of the ship, you now see it is called the Inevitability, which oh, is an absolutely massive cool. galleon. It is, um, its hull is, like, 
half again as big, as tall rather, as the Joyful Damnations riding out of the water. Corazon, so their ship a, is bigger than your ship. There is. Yeah. There Wait, is did a, you go wrong in your life, Corazon? There. It's not about the size of the ship. Go right. on. It's, it's about, about the motion the, of the ocean. It's about the motion of the ocean and <laughs> the acts of piracy you commit with that boat. Right. <laughs> okay. And the broadside weight of metal. Yeah. Um, broad, I, exactly. Can I look down and inspect? <laughs> what? Am I aware? Look- am I aware of the inevitability as a ship? Is that? Um, it's not it one famous? you've heard of before. No. Um, in fact, why don't you make me a wisdom perception check? Um, okay. Yeah. Or, or if I don't know if you have any seafaring sort of skill. I mean, I know. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, savage. I mean, I don't know if your character sheet specifically <laughs> references <laughs> any pirate related skill I or have, like, this, um, the sailors. Finally, it all comes out. <laughs> You've got sailors. What? I've got the skill of sailor. Okay, well, add that. Two, just add your proficiency bonus onto a wisdom perception check. <laughs> All right, fine. And you can have you can have an apology inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Um, you can get an apology inspiration? <laughs> if yeah. Johnny roasts you hard enough, you get yeah, an not inspiration. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> 13. Okay, great. Um, yeah, it's basically a point of inspiration, but I hand it to you saying you've been a great audience. Um, uh, yes, you, you notice that not only um, is this ship not one you... Um, you recognise uh, sort of by name. It's um, you can tell just from looking at it. This is a ship of very new construction. Hmm. Um, you, in fact, you sort of new boat you've... smell. Exactly, as as yeah. as the glorious new boat smell fills your nostrils, um, you gain a, a a sense slightly of of fear that uh, you know this ship is clearly state of the art um, and has been uh, you know commissioned very recently probably by Liliana herself but also you feel a point of pride that she considers you to be uh, significant enough adversaries to have commissioned an entirely new ship to take you down so they've they've got the 3600 with the speaking tubes that run throughout oh my god they've got the freshwater reservoir they've got oh my (laughs) god Uh, Johnny I know nothing about um, I know nothing about uh, sailing, but can I still look at Liliana's flagship, the Incredible uh, Inevitability, and yeah. just try and like give a sort of vague assessment of its armaments? Yes, um, I think it could probably be um, succinctly described as having more than twice your guns and more than twice your numbers. Oh, how that screwed are we? Not, we're not screwed at all, I say. Um, but we're boarding the ship now, right? That's all. We, we yeah, are you getting us. aboard the yeah. Joyful Damnation? Yeah. Yeah, okay. the inevitability is the power in these waters, but there's no ship as can match the damnation for speed. Is there a? Oh. Is there anything we can do to sabotage it before we leave? Because th- when they start counting and we start moving, we're going to get further away and hopefully stay further away. But is there a chance moment, they'll cancel our head start close. if we like attack the? <laughs> <laughs> You yeah, see, do, you want to go over, do you want to go over to the boat? <laughs> no, can we like, launch something or fire a you know cannon or? Something I climb into over. the cannon. <laughs> no, don't get out of the cannon. I climb into the I climb no. into the cannon. A metal spike between my teeth. Do you oh, have any proximity mines nobody. that we can drop <laughs> in our wake? Below the waterline. Find me. Find me below the waterline. We're we're wasting our head start here, people. I say. Um, <laughs> okay. Can we drop some burning barrels or something? Can you raise the anchor or something? Yeah, Let's start anchor. hoisting. Yeah, right, Should we fine. start hoisting? Oh, yeah. um, Corazon, what kind of crew do we have aboard? How, like, how many oh, yeah. hands are we looking at? I don't. I assume it's just us. So they would probably haven't given us any crew. Okay. Are there any skeletons? Okay. Right. I run. I run down below deck to see if we've got anyone down here. Anyone? Hello. There okay. is. A, there is strangely a slight echo from the ship as you go. Hello. 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 Maybe we should each take like a zone of the ship according mm. to our abilities. Like I'll Egbert could man the cannons. I'll take the captain's <laughs> deck. Okay. Yeah. Can I take the rigging? Kitchen. You can take the rigging, sure. Alright. I go aloft. Okay, I go to the captain's quarters and open some <laughs> rum. Who's who's steering the ship? Right. I sarcastically raise the anchor using one of those like <laughs> anchor wheel things because no one okay. else is doing it. Yeah. Um I, like Again, you kind of you're all discussing who should be where and who should be doing what. Dob is already sort of up in the rigging, whittling, I imagine, or you know, um, retying his his you know retying his costume so he's got like a neckerchief and he looks more like uh, a sailor. And you kind of 
as you're all getting used to your new stations, you just hear a chicka 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 and you look to see uh, Prudence handling an entire ship's capstan solo. Um, wow, was she always that strong? <laughs> this, <laughs> there's space strong. for like 15 to 20 hands, by which I mean people, um, mo- raising the anchor. And Prudence is just as though pushing wow. a shopping cart <laughs> around uh, one of those market towns. Don't mind me, everyone. I'm just saving our, all our asses. Raising the anchor, because we, hey, we're all we can't go anywhere. Here. What are you I doing, say, Corazon? I yell a big, towards big the captain's cabin. I'm inspiring You're my crew. You're supposed to be the captain. Shouldn't I you am. be like, giving I'm, orders or directing us or I'm telling someone to do something? I'm inspiring my crew by my uh, aspirational example. Work hard and you too could sit around drinking <laughs> rum. And right, Corazon, if you don't You're drive the this ship, I'm going to drive your ship. Under. Yeah. Uh, all right, I go up to the wheel. I don't want anyone touching the wheel. Okay, all right. Mr. Corazon, I mean, captain... Yes, what is it, Mr. Dobb? Permission to loose sails, make sail, hoist for tops, top gallant, skyscrapers and all. Sounds good. Uh, also, <laughs> I, can you pipe me aboard, please? I am aboard yes. already, but I haven't been piped. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this nonsense? This is nautical stuff, Egg, but you wouldn't understand. Right. Yeah, I'm a landlubber. Yeah, you. So, yeah, Egbert, what are you doing in in, uh, in this early well, stage was, as the, the flight gets underway? I was threatening to um, I was threatening to steer the ship, but I guess now I should go and look and see if we've got anything we can use to slow the other ship down. Can we, like, chuck some burning barrels over the rear mm-hmm. of the ship? Mr. Or Egbert, Mr. Egbert, I'm making you quartermaster. Got Please it. Please check the ship's what armaments, does that mean? run out the guns and make ready. Okay. Got it. I think. Something about guns. Yeah. Mr. Tremendous. Mr. Egbert. I have an idea for, on. for helping us get an advantage. Um, Are what you going to get you... back in the cannon? Well, no. I climb okay. out of the cannon. Um, what if what if you were to use your um, famous, infamous flame breath to scorch the surface of the sea behind us and create a sort of rolling fog that we could disappear into? Nice. That's a good idea. That is a very good idea, Master Dob. Uh, so I, go, I guess I'll do Master that. Master Dob. Yes, promoted. Not... <laughs> Seafaring. He's not a... Mm. No. Demoted, <laughs> cabin boy, Dob. Got my yeah. step at last. After okay, all is fine, Nick, but... All right. Um, so, okay. Uh, I, I would like the following roles, please. Um, Corazon, yes. I would like um, charisma performance to try and drink rum in uh, a it's way that doesn't actually discourage uh, your crew. Okay. Dob, that would be a dex acrobatics check, please, to lose sail. Um, and. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Very it's good a, or very it's, bad? It's a natural 20. <laughs> crit, 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 crit. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, t- I feel inspired. I feel pretty inspired. Yeah, it's- there is, there is, despite, you know, uh, despite, you know, all of these claims of meritocracy in Geth clearly being hogwash, <laughs> you do find you're like, maybe yes, maybe if I work extremely hard under this man, some of that good grace and indeed rum will trickle down. <laughs> so, I mean, some of it is trickling down out of the corners of my mouth. I'm quite messy when I'm drinking. Oh, that's rum probably how Dob got yeah. inspired. It's been like, my God, he drinks rum with gusto. My okay. God, he's um, messy. So, gusto is a kind um, of mixer. It's probably <laughs> in Geth. <laughs> So the the flame breath Egbert is ju- it's just a cone and it, it's uh, it's a fifteen foot cone, uh, mm-hmm. but I'm I guess I'm attempting to scorch the top of the uh, water to create a kind of scolding fog yeah. behind us. Okay, as we travel. So just make me a strength athletics check. This is more to sort of hold on to it and plank off the side of the ship and not set the rear sure. rear end of the joyful damnation on fire. Rolling um, for core strength. Exactly. That is a, yeah. Also a natural twenty. My Whoa! goodness! Crick, 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 um, it is <laughs> got an eight pack. So um, I've just got my toes wedged in between a couple of planks, and I'm like straight Fire. out. He gads. Yeah, it's it's like you're flying, but horizontally. Yeah. Um, and the good thing about this this flame breath is obviously it generates quite a lot of sort of just smoke from your nostrils anyway. Yeah. Yep. But as it hits the water and churns up this tremendous fog, the two seem to combine and make sort of like a wet ashen suspension. Um, there is an absolutely enormous cloud of steam um, to the point where 
you you can barely see in front of your own hand, let alone see the inevitability. You have a tremendous um, opportunity here to escape. Uh, Prudence, the anchor is up and the ship is starting to make way. Are you doing anything in particular right now? Um, maybe I can help a dog in the rigging. We need every every scrap of sail on the... What's it? I don't know, you nautical <laughs> terms. On every scrap of sail? Yeah, yeah, I want to do that. I want to cram yeah. on every scrap of sail. So okay, I, great. Prudence. I spider climb into the rigging and, and yes. start oh, un- yeah. nice. tying knots and tying other knots and yeah, figuring that um, out. Make me a dex acrobatics check as well, but do it with advantage because spider climb. Dob, how did you do? Okay. Oh, uh, 18. 18? Brilliant. Okay. Dex athletics, you said. Dex uh, acrobatics. Please. Acrobatics. Oh well, I definitely don't have that. Uh, okay, twelve. Okay, is that with advantage? Roll twice. Roll twice and take the best result. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, great. <laughs> um, a twelve will do it, though. Um, as you, um, as you sort of untie the the sails and they start to go down, uh, the clues just like rocket down the lines and the canvas snaps as the wind um, which is directly at your back starts to take you off um, out away from like out of the bay uh, and away from from this island so to give you um, a bit of perspective you've mm-hmm. you're, you're setting off you've got to your left uh, a large portion of the island but well, you've got the island uh, and coming up there is sort of a large sort of rocky craggy cliff edge um, there so if you wanted to sort of slip around there and try and um, sort of lose them that way then you could or you could just try and use this this window to get as much distance between you and the inevitability as possible or you could indeed go um, a third way you could go to starboard if you like interesting Um, there are islands kind of dotted in other places um you, right. you can sort of see them on the horizon, but without going out the crow's nest and having a good look, you don't know exactly what's around you just yet. Okay, so we could either just try and put yeah. some distance between us and them, or we could try and be sneaky and maybe see if we can double back and maybe get behind them. What? And then, well, I'm sure they have guns get... on the back of it as well, right? But they won't be. They might not be looking out the back. If we can get so behind we could... them, we'll have the weather gauge, Egbert. And yeah. then we'll. We Did you even consider the weather gauge? Egbert? Did you even consider the weather gauge? I don't gauge? even know what the weather gauge is. Yeah, we well, can you press our advantage. You, but you but it's going to be really hard to get around them without. <laughs> but what if um, what if we were to what if we were to sneak up on them and then we were to board the ship and scuttle it from within? Aha! Wait, hang on. What if what if we were to what if we I've were to rig what if we were to rig a, a raft with lanterns and a small sail yes. and drop it off drop it off the rear of the joyful damnation uh, on the same heading as us. Um, then they'll be following that. We put out all lights, uh, and you know, slip slip around, do a UE in the fog. Yes. Come around, complete 180, and then weather gauge them up the up the behind. Yeah. Preposterous. Right. <laughs> I love I love the I love the plan, um, uh, Seaman Dob. Did you invent this plan yourself? Yes, I did. Okay. I've never heard of it anywhere before. <laughs> no, me either. All right, good. Um, yeah, let's. I have do, a quick question before we do that. that. Just so, just for context. Yeah. Is there a big boat? Going to be faster or slower than our little There is one. big boat. Sorry. <laughs> there, yeah, there is yes, big boat. But is there, there is big boat, boat but it's yeah. going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, car no go space, cargo road. Yeah. Um, so Sorry. their their ship mm. is, uh, it has considerably higher masts and it has a lot more kind of sails uh, between each mast uh, and indeed on each mast. This ship will be able to to achieve greater speeds than you. However, uh, the sheer size means that you will be able to um, go through shallower waters than them. Uh, and also, you should be more manoeuvrable if the ship is handled well. Well, now, hang on, because if we're talking about this kind of craggy bit of rock up ahead, we could try and deftly weave through it. But if they won't not- don't notice it in the fog, they could run aground on that shoal. Don't think I didn't notice that insubordination, Mr. Egbert. <laughs> it wasn't it was a question. You'll, be, you'll, get a, you'll get a taste of the cat if you're not lashes? careful. <laughs> I'm imagining I'm, all of these, uh, you're all at different points of the ship, like all of this is shouted, because Dob and Prudence are in the rigging. You're in the captain's quarters with your feet up, yelling through the door. And Egbert... I have uh, a I'm megaphone. Still off the back of the boat. Egbert's still hanging off the back. <laughs> uh, Fine, I like all these plans 
Let's do it all at once. Yep. I think if we try and outpace them, eventually they'll catch up to us. They have the long guns. Yes. It's do. probably they will overpower us. So I think um, being sneaky, being clever is our is our best option here. So I think we should go with um, the idea of taking the raft, putting the lanterns on it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think it's a good and okay. original yes. idea. Yes, my master and commander. I'm on it yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, <laughs> you, you're really uh, you're really maturing into the role of uh, a sea a seaman. Dom. Corazon, do you got to pick one, master or commander? I'm not I, having both. Like... All right. Well, master, I guess. Okay, fine. Um, it does occur to you that it's still daylight. Hmm. Now, does any that... of you does any of you wizards have a night spell? <laughs> He, he says loud hailingly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we put, in, we put distance between us and them well, until yeah, nightfall. We race, we race until nightfall. And we then race we the, yeah. until that nightfall. That sounds cool. Okay, that, that sounds, sounds cool. Awesome. Yeah. I'm all out of uh, yeah, solar eclipse spells. Sorry. All right. Bring me that horizon. Also, Mr. until then, we can, like, we can, Egbert stuff. can get on the bow chasers and, and can try and, like, maybe, you know, harm, damage you, their sails or something. You will you have know. to explain what a bow chaser is to me. So the gun um, on the back. Right. Yeah. Got it. Presumably, yeah, we have swivel guns or bow no, chasers. The gun on the front. Sorry. Stern. Uh, Stern chasers. Right. Okay, but for this one. You we'll know, have when you said it, I thought there was something wrong about what you said, which is why I called you up on it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Change of plan. We wreck Corazon. <laughs> this is Captain's why we quarters. settle the naval history homework. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> More insubordination from Mr. Egbert. <laughs> I flick the latches on the case that contains the cat. <laughs> it meows softly. Yeah. I was yeah. just Sorry. thinking about Merylwyn. <laughs> this is a very oh. ill tempered ship's cat, I'll have you know. Oh, it's Do furious. Oh, she's get on the wrong side. Oh, I miss Merylwyn. <laughs> um, yeah, your sort of ragamuffin cat is already sniffing the air, sensing that there has recently been insubordination. Yeah. <laughs> um, looks at you and kind of does that thing, you know, where they grip with their front paws? and bite into the hand, but not like dead hard, but it's like, I could start kicking at any time. Know, That's a, a small, you're being reproved by the cat for not having stamped out the insubordination already. Mm. So why well, does it smell like insubordination on my ship? Mm, I, this is, he's he's not used to, to seafaring, uh, Emily, but <laughs> any, one more offense and it's time to go hog wild. I, say. <laughs> I still may read Egbert the Articles of War. I place, I place <laughs> Emily back in the cat case. Okay, Emily mm. uh, begins uh, cleaning herself. Um, I call to Egbert, Egbert, come back from the bow of the ship where I accidentally sent you. I meant the stern. You could man the cannons out the back and um, and maybe, you know, like fire at, fire at them as they, as, they, sure. as they pursue. Let's do that. Firing through okay. the fog, just randomly, basically. <sighs> All right. All right. I'd like to go to the, the map um... table. I'd like to go to the map table and lay out the map that we you know, acquired last mm -hmm. time. Um, how far is this curse hole? Curse hole, uh, if you like. The curse hole. <laughs> ah, yes, the curse hole. Yeah. yeah. It's near the folk hole. Um, <laughs> it's, um, so how far is it? It is, um, it's about a day, a day and a half sailing. Um, okay. Like under good, good conditions, but, um, you know, obviously, uh, being chased, it, it may take longer, it may take, you know, less time. Uh, either way, it would probably be prudent uh, to lose them before you right. head to said curse hole, but it's not Yeah, impossible. we don't want to lead them to the curse hole, mm. right? Exactly. The curse hole is uh, northeast. You are currently heading west. Um, I'd like to okay. sort of stay in the tops where I am and just just like look around, try and like keep a keep a weather eye on the on the shoal ahead of us and mm -hmm. the inevitability behind if I can, and just call down bearings to Corazon and Prudence. Well, Absolutely. The sun, the sun sets in the west, right? So let's race west. I say because we're getting night compass. time quicker. Is that yeah, what you're exactly, saying? Exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. So no, wait, uh, hang on. Wouldn't we get to night time quicker if we race the other east? Night. No. No, no. no. <laughs> well, canonically, we've never set where the sun. We've never said where the sun sets in. Oh yeah, the, in yeah. Gets. The sun, the sun we've rotates north. I think south. we have. Like, who's actually, to say there's yeah. only one oh, sun? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Let me let me the, remember the when the twin, the twin, guess, the twin right? suns of Geth 
Standard fantasy rules, there's got to be twin suns. Yeah. 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 Oh no, as soon as no. one sets, the others come up. It's light again. <laughs> no. <laughs> undo, undo, undo. <laughs> I'm hitting the undo button on all this canonical stuff. <laughs> okay, so, so the plan is to just keep heading straight. Um, put as much speed on as you can before they come through the fog and yeah, then see where you are from there? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, That's it. Just make me a wisdom perception check, please. Dop. To sort of just look out uh, ahead and see see what's around you, basically. Don't worry, shipmates. I got this. What do your dob I see? That is a natural 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. We are rolling amazingly see, wait, wait. for doing not yeah, very no, much. Is. of them. Yeah. What do you see, Mr. Dob? Well, I Everything. see. What do I? What do I see? <laughs> okay, so um, there are <laughs> there are um, just you're you're coming up on sort of um, a small chain of islands, um, and on the left, one of the larger ones uh, is sort of there. It's just more. It's more like an atoll. It's not very big, but you do notice that in quite a large area around it, the seas are very calm uh, because near landmass. Um, and there's a sandbank underneath, which obviously stops the, the water from getting too choppy. So you reckon that you could go through those calmer waters to put on a bit of speed in a way that the um, the inevitability, I nearly called it the insubordination, couldn't match. <laughs> um, ditto, further ahead, um, basically if you want to keep heading west, um, eventually you are going to reach a large coral reef. Um, you're, you can't see it too clearly right now, but it is large enough that you imagine it is charted in this part of the world. So if there are the, the requisite charts in the map room of the Joyful Damnation, you should no be able to that. find your way through it, and you could potentially lose the inevitability in there. Of course, if you came into you got into trouble yourselves, that would be very, very bad. But So this is a gamble, but it's a gamble that could well pay off. That's about all you see around you right now. Um, but yeah, that's that's sort of how we're looking. I mean, if recommendations, we can... Mr. Dub. Uh, my recommendation is that we, uh, Captain Corazon, is that we head for the coral reef out to west and hope to run the inevitability aground in the pursuit. Sounds good to me. I shout. Let's do that. And I. So, which way is that? Sorry, I'm on the wheel. Uh, I guess west would be to west. out to. West. west is right. Always. To the right. West is always to the right. West is always right. <laughs> if I understand navigation, west Wait, is right. Just... Yeah. Okay. Um, just make me a strength athletics check, please, Corazon, just to sort of move the wheel around and keep it keep it held steady as you reach the, the proper course. Um, Let's see. What about the rest of you? We will, I mean, we will lose 11. a little bit of speed heading to okay. the coral reef, I guess, because we're no longer sort of we've no longer got the wind directly behind us. Yes, you have. We'll, you were heading west anyway. Mm. Perfect. So, maintaining course. -ish. Yeah, you're you're maintaining course. So you are you are still having. Nice. The question is, are you going to head for that um, sort of? You're going to head for the calmer waters of the atoll next to you, or just? keep going because that would require a bit of an adjustment i mean i love the sound of the coral reef that we can navigate with our uh sort of you know uh sh shallower hull and and nimbler navigation that sounded amazing mm. okay cool great All right but then we'll just we'll just carry on there uh and 11 um it's been a while since you've been at the helm of the joyful damnation sober um ish uh so there are a couple of times where you're like, yeah. I mean, you mean you mean to sort of um, to keep hold of it, but yeah, you occasionally get jostled. Once you sort of get a bit distracted thinking about how cool you must look right now, um, and yeah. So um, Got it. Got it. you do you don't make quite as fast progress as you otherwise might do, um, but you still by the time you finally see the fog drifting back, uh, actually no, the fog would be moving with you. Hmm. Yeah. The inevitability is not clear of the fog yet. However, you can see its dark shape kind of looming in the fog yes. in there. So it's going to burst through soon because it cool. itself is, has made sail and is underway. But for now, you are making uh, good progress. Um, okay. Is there so anything it's... we can do to slow them down, maybe? Anything we could... Um... 
throw some something into the water, throw some barrels of gunpowder, maybe. Um, let's uh, let me go go down to the magazine and see what we've got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say your your course is set, and you know you're holding steady and you're making good progress. So now is you have a beat basically to to make preparations for right. the next stage in in the pursuit. So yeah, uh, if you want to go to the magazine. Um, you you go there. You find um, Egbert's sleeping, like sleeping mat from when he was last aboard the Joyful Damnation. Oh, yes, I remember he used to, um, like to sleep on a big hmm. pile of gunpowder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward um, to nap there later on when this calms down a bit. Um, there are still a few souvenir uh, t-shirts from the stag do that you ran. Um, <laughs> oh, there's there's a, a times. happier there's times. A, there's a cask of mouldering salsa. Yeah. Um, oh, I bet. Mm -mm. But yeah, you find um, a good number of uh, kegs of black powder. You find you know um, uh, pistol shot, uh, a few muskets. You find sort of a bunch of pretty low grade um, swords that would just be handed out to the crew at times where you it sort of would board other vessels and intimidate them into giving over their wares. Um, so you've got like a good quantity of armament. Um, and yeah, the, the magazine is, is fully stocked. So you've got enough gunpowder to to fire every cannon aboard the ship. Um, the question is if you want to do something more creative with them. Uh, what, what sort of thing do you have in mind? Um, okay. I'm thinking maybe dropping some some barrels out the back with like with uh, long fuses on them maybe to create a sort of uh, I don't think we'll get lucky enough for them to actually damage the ship but it might cause them to have to go around to um, do you think could any of us rig a depth charge I don't know I we could try if we put not, our minds to it I'm not like super clear on what a depth charge literally is yeah but <laughs> but it sounds cool yeah um it's a depth charge um dob uh wait where would you know this actually uh, corazon make me a another sort of knowing seamanship role um uh, right so that would be sort of uh um an intelligence check would we would there be a modifier on this let's let's have a deeks uh, i got a 16. okay uh you do you do you have heard of a depth charge they are kind of experimental warfare um, because there aren't that many submarines in um, in Geth, but um, they're very, very popular for fishing because it is the nautical equivalent of standing on top of a castle wall and just emptying a bucket of rocks onto um, something's and head. Fish. Yeah. Onto the fish that are attacking the castle. Um, I guess okay, cancel so plan could... depth charge. Oh, okay. Or... Well, we could we could try if you want, dog. Oh, we I'll tell you what we have seen before is um mines. Do you remember when we were approaching that sea um, mines? Mm. Sea mines. Remember when we were approaching that um that you know the thing with all of with, with the yes. acid from the ceiling? Of course. Yep. And just yeah. by having looked at them, I th I feel like we could probably uh, recreate their design quite easily from memory. <laughs> yes. I've made a bomb or two. I think we should give in it my a time. go. Egbert's our. This is a very yeah, very good our, point. Egbert. Bomb Egbert, you're our expo technician. explosive expert. What do you think expert. you could rig up that would be useful in this uh, situation? I must admit, I did get a good look at those sea mines as we were um, as we were uh -huh. navigating through, and it seems uh -huh. like a fairly straightforward system. You know, yeah. little little vial in there of reactive uh, liquid, and then you know when they hit the when they bump against them, it just explodes. So the thing about being a bomb technician is it's mostly instinct. Yeah. Uh, oh, you do it. On, you do it by feel. Yeah. You do it by yeah, feel. Yeah. Jazz. <laughs> jazz. It's more of an art than a science. Of course. Yeah. Of course. It's more about the things you don't blow up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's more about the right. friends you blow up along the way. Hmm. Right. Indeed. I'm gonna make. I, okay. I'm gonna have a go at this. I'm gonna out of those gunpowder barrels. I'm going to attempt to create uh, some proximity mines. Excellent. Okay. How are we gonna do this then? I'm going to say that this is quite a delicate task. Um, so, can we make this a deck sleight of hands check, please? If you like, yeah. If you like. All right. Well, it's it's that or something wisdom based. Oh <laughs> so. no! You be don't bad want that. For me. No one wants that. That is a seventeen plus two decks is nineteen. Wow. Mm. Okay. 
This is genuinely very, very impressive. Um, and I figure once I've cracked the first one, I can probably mass produce these things. <laughs> <laughs> With you your said, little production line wow. going. Mass production. How many barrels do we for... have that we can you turn said, into mines? You said that with such incredible confidence. <laughs> um, hey, roll, me a D- you think... <laughs> roll me a D10. How do you D10. think becoming an arms dealer will play to your atonement goal? <laughs> <laughs> I assume I could just kick these out. Yeah. Uh, is this D10? It looks like one. Yes, I think it is. Okay. That's a one. <laughs> you have made two C oh. Oh, no. <laughs> But they're very clever, in fairness. Um, what you've basically done is um, um, you've got like a smaller cask of black powder. You've mm-hmm. drilled holes in, into the side uh, and engineered these sort of plugs where there's sort of a small piece of paper with some more black powder in it, and then that is carefully lowered into a larger barrel into which you have driven several sort of metal lengths so that if at any point a ship, say, moving at speed, hits one of these spikes, it will go bink! Um, And with the piece of uh, flint that you have carefully glued onto Mm. the the tip of each metal thing, it will basically act like a... um, uh, uh, a musket. Um, Pop that yeah. bit. That was Start, clever of you. Like yeah, tiny spark, massive explosion. Yes. That kind That's of thing. That's the goal. That's always the goal. Tiny and spark, massive explosion. I think the complexity there would explain how you've only managed to rig up two. Yeah. I think, you know. It took me it's... three days to do each one. <laughs> 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 no. That's yeah, cool. so three days later, um, <laughs> they're still chasing. No. You've all been um, caught you... in execution. <laughs> <laughs> and Egbert is completing his mind. <laughs> Egbert's explaining the design to the hangman. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the flint, real genius of it is the flint. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, yes, two, two mines. Not okay. up as quickly as possible. Okay. I go, to the map, okay. I go to the map room and see if we've got a map for the coral uh, reef up ahead. <laughs> Okie dokie, make me a, an investigation check, which, as everybody knows, is tied to intelligence. Mm. All right. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Pew! Oh, that's a, that's a ten. Okay. But I have inspiration, so I'm going to go, because I think we really need okay. this map. If we're not going to run aground on some coral. Mm. Uh, mm, okay, well, that's thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, that'll do it. Um, you... It, it takes you a while because um, Corazon's filing system is idiosyncratic. <laughs> um, there so it's are not the Dewey Decimal System, then. It, it, unfortunately, not. Um, it's the boozy decimal uh, system. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Maps are sort of lumped in with um, recipes for good rum cocktails. Uh, there is a, a very strange. There's a detailed map of um, of a large country estate, which he then realises, obviously, the Milk Toast Manor. Um, <laughs> there's a caricature of uh, me and Jack Raxon and Curly Joe that we had done at the carnival. Yes. We're riding. Yeah, we're riding little scooters. Mm. It's nice. That it's it's okay. that's the original, actually. The the print is on the wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, but eventually, yes, you do find a sea chart for this area. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, it it has um, it has a pretty detailed map of the coral reef, um, mm-hmm. which should allow you to pick your way through it. So uh, I'm going to say that this item will give you advantage, will give the crew advantage on any navigation rolls as you start to move through the uh, the coral reef. Good. Um, cool. What are we saying, uh, Dob and also Corazon? How are you prepping for the next bit of? Scary, scary chase time. Um, well, I think, uh, Prudence, if you're able to um, magically scan for um, where the following ship is, we can place these um, sea mines in the most... We can sort of figure out their... Okay, their... They'll yes. have the same charts, won't they? So it makes sense to use the sea mines in, the, mm. in amongst the reef where they can't avoid them as easily. A narrow channel in the coral no. reef. That's a good idea. Wait until they'll have get... the same wow. charts. Probably better organised as well. Is Egbert so a naval they'll... a naval combat genius? <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to follow us through the coral. I just know good explosives. I don't know if they'll be able to follow us through the coral reef because that's true because they well, yeah. I think oh, because they've the got they're, they're big ship. The they sit they're lower in the water. Yeah, they big ship. Okay. Also, all right, 
cr crewmates, I have a I have a scheme for the coral reef situation when we get there. Okay. Um, here's what I'm thinking. We, yeah. we know that they, that looking at their ship, it's it's big enough that they'll want to avoid the coral reef, right? Because it will run them aground if they sort of yeah, run yeah, up yeah, onto it. Yeah, big ship. So here's what I'm thinking. We uh, deftly navigate our way through it. Um, yeah. Assuming that that has worked as we're uh -huh. navigating through the channel. Yeah. Um, in fact, near the beginning of the channel, um, yep. we tie a very, very, very long rope around me and I yes. jump overboard yes. and like find a Love shallow it. bit of coral reef to stand on. Perfect. I will then like go submerge into the water like down to this point and I'll uh -huh. cast Major Illusion uh, to, to create the image of just a little bit of coral just breaking the waves just breaking the surface of the sea uh. Uh, right next to an actual massive chunk of coral so that when they sort of veer away from that as they spot it, they run aground. I love it. We're gonna you're going to hoodwink them with yeah, and illusory then you, coral. And then, I, and then I give a few yanks on the rope and you... Yep, um, haul you back in. Yeah. I mean, they'll still be slack on the rope, I guess. At that, we'll, we'll deal with that. That's a that's a future dog problem. We can, <laughs> pop a, we can pop a depth charge down there where they're going to go as well and we can cast... Yeah. Invisibility yes. or and Merrill's not so here to tell us it. not to damage a very fragile ecosystem <laughs> yeah, exactly. on which the whole planet is. Finally. Screw defending. this coral, am I right, everyone? <laughs> um, <okay. laughs> yeah, yeah. you can give Sorry, me the, the sea mines if you want to, to sort of position in the same spot that they're going hey, to kind of like steer I just, I just really feel like we should scuttle this ship, my dude. I feel like, <laughs> I, feel well, like the, I want the, this ship scuttled because it's bigger than mine. <laughs> but if they if they if they run aground on the if they run aground on the coral reef then then they're sitting the ducks done, we right, can yeah. we can circle around we can shoot them at our leisure. Well, no, we don't. I mean, we distance. don't want to we don't want to go back and we need to get to the curse hole and if they haven't got a ship then they can't follow us. I just. But we're sailing west. The curse hole is north. Mm, yeah, northeast. northeast. But we'll come. Yeah, so we'll come back around. We'll emerge from the the coral reef want, and then come around. We don't want them taking north. pot shots at us with their cannons though. So maybe we should blow them up a bit. Um, just a little. Don't want to kill anyone. Just scuffle yeah, the ship. Do. Almost, nice. almost as if on cue, the second Corazon finishes that sentence, you hear. Uh oh, brace, um, brace! You hear the crack of uh, chase cannons. Oh man! Um, and you do hear twin like <laughs> noises, um, but you see, the ship has not been hit. Um, Boo! Yeah, nice try. To scuttle them. <laughs> but, I um, did. <laughs> I did the it's, cannons. It's, uh, would anyone like to have a look at the the inevitability? All right. Yeah, I, I eyeball okay. the inevitability through the fog. Okay. Um, it has just made its way out of the fog. Do make me a wisdom perception check, though, please. Oh, okay. I preemptively rolled. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay. All right. That's, that's, a, a, that's another 20. 15. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Natural. Dang. Yeah, natural. Dang. This is unbelievable. Um, okay, uh, so both of you see that um, there are two pairs of chase cannons um, on the front of uh, the inevitability. One crew already is um, working frantically to to sponge and to um, to well to to swab to load powder to get a ball in there, generally to to ready to fire again. The other two guns are already prepared. They adjust their elevation after the last shot and. <laughs> Two cannonballs are loosed. Um, these ones, as you watch them, sort of hearts in your mouths, um, which for Corazon, being Corazon de Baena, is <laughs> no mean feat. <laughs> um, they splash down harmlessly into the water uh, a few oh, hundred oh. feet behind you. Oh, a few hundred feet, okay. Um, uh, yeah, all right, that's you, nice you are Cannons. You are comfortably oh, out of cannon range. Uh, Corazon, with your 20, uh, you're kind of looking at me like, hey, 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 watching them fruitlessly trying to uh, reload this cannon. When um, you sort of see this, this arm just kind of get ratcheted just on the front of the ship. And it is an absolutely, by comparison with a normal chase cannon, which is sort of just like a small swivel gun, this thing is uh, large even for a cannon that would be mounted on the side of a ship. And as you watch, there is a like there's a flash that you see before you hear the boom and um, you see a projectile just <laughs> just arcing uh, in a, a, a low but extremely fast arc oh. 
towards you. My yikes! Cthulhu, what the? How how much does a cannonball weigh? Lots. Um. All right. I've got, you... I've, got a, I've got a plan for this mega cannon. Okay. okay. Well, it's it's a similar plan to before, except it's a lot more straightforward, but it still involves rope and me going in the sea. Okay. <laughs> right. Rope around the waist. I just Get jump off out. the back. Then, right. then it's like how if I was in the sea right now, Johnny, how long would it be before the inevitability got to where I am? Uh, it would be quite a while. Like this, you you do have a good head start. Like um, minutes or like a half hour or like. At these speeds, assuming that the um, assuming that the inevitability is chasing you, it would still take a good hour, maybe two hours, to oh. catch up to you. Um, okay. You are doing these numbers in your head um, when the projectile um, reaches the ship and strikes uh, at the top of one of the masts. Specifically, it goes into one of the sails, which kind of billows out but seems to hold. But there is a, a significant kind of <laughs> sound as uh, the projectile <gasps> resolves itself into uh -uh. a humanoid form. And you see there is one limb just kind of skating down um, the the sail, which, I mean, you're, you're all of you like, this is bad and cool. Um, <laughs> because at the bottom of the sail, when the um, when basically it's run out of canvas to um, to to fly down, uh, this this figure kind of shadows um, because obviously the sun is in your eyes, tucks into a ball and lands on the deck and then straightens up. Um, you can see that they are absolutely bristling with, with pistols. They have a cutlass in each hand and a dagger in their mouth, and they <laughs> spit it out and go, okay, who would like to die to, oh, hello. Um, and you see that this, uh, this individual has uh, big fluffy ears and a long fluffy tail. Yay. And um, you recognize your friend Rust on the harbor. It's Rust. Rust. It's Rust. Oh, you rascal. Rust, you Ooh. rascal! What are you what doing are... on board? Have you I've come been... to join the crew? Uh, well, I was hired to come onto this ship uh, via the cannon, and then I was going to kill everybody on board. Rust, however much they're paying you, I promise we will pay you less. Yeah, because that's your thing, as I remember. They've... Yes, yeah. they paid no. me one gold <laughs> piece. Yeah, what an insult, Could... Rust! They really don't know you at all. What? What? Could it? No, they paid me one gold piece. Here it is. Look, uh, there's a one gold piece. But we're How friends. You... We're friends, uh, though. This is difficult. Yeah, no, we we are in our bind because I mean, you're nice. Uh, we get on, uh, but I've been paid one gold piece to keep. We've me. got one gold piece. Don't. Sure. We've got one gold piece. He looks at the gold piece and goes, "I don't understand." Well, we can oh, give you one gold. Right. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wait. I see. Remember mm. Rust's thing? Yeah, I do remember uh, it now. Um, I mean, you could... I I wish you could hire on me, but uh, I've already been given one yeah, gold he, piece. He has He's already been given piece. a gold. The gold uh, piece, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, okay, Rust, here's a proposition for you. What okay. if we have, like, an exciting fight, but we agree to make it like Peter Pan rules, whereby we might sword fight for a bit, but ultimately the loser's just going to get kicked in the sea in a non-fatal way? Because <laughs> we can't show, like, sword violence and... We don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> oh, um... Where? 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 I, I'm familiar with Pierre Pan rules. <laughs> yeah. Where? Bon? Uh, he, he slots the gold piece Peter into... Bread. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Peter, Peter Bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's good with hummus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's, it's ultimately quite a tragic tale because um, he, he lives in a land without yeast, so um, he will never grow up. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, reversed into that one, didn't you? Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see if he can. Never leavened himself. land. Wait. <laughs> inspiration, inspiration, everybody, everybody, inspiration. Oh. I'm affronted on no one's behalf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, maybe she this. <laughs> Somewhere inside a whale, a, a wood elf goes. Ugh. <laughs> and isn't sure why, because actually the um, the 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 couple's therapy is going quite well. If anyone were oh, good. sort of smash cut to, they're now yeah, using they're using the I feel sentences. Mm. Um, you know, no one's raised their their voice um, in in 
over an hour. Uh, or the, I mean, that's relative, obviously, because the whale is naturally very, very loud. <laughs> so, but no one's made a noise that could be considered loud for a whale. Um, anyway, um, we cut back to um, Rust on the harbour, um, kind of looks down at his pistols and is like, uh, removes the bandolier and drops those because Pierre Pan rolls. Um, yeah. And he's like, okay, we, we're... Well, Rust, how about you and I duel? And then Where? if I if I beat you, maybe you could join join in with us. Throw your lot in with us. Okay. That's cool. Yes, I suppose so. That would be if discharging my uh, my duties for which I was... Um, well, okay. Yeah. Um, All right, let me just limber up because it's, it's been a long day. Oh, that's fair. I, I did my warm-up on the other sheep. Mm. <laughs> he starts Rust. jogging on the spot to stay warm. <laughs> Rust, while you, go, while, while you warm up, could it... Uh, would it be a breach of contract for you to inform us if there's anything else coming over on that cannon? Uh, no, I don't see why not. They did not specify. I could, I could not say. I, I've signed no, nothing. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, they have uh, many things. Uh, a mortar uh, to try and set you on fire. Uh, mm -hmm. They have harpoon guns to uh, fire mm -hmm. and attach sea anchors to your ship. Uh uh, if I'm not successful, uh, they're going to send a, a more substantial boarding party. Um, uh, yes, yeah, I do not know who this captain is, uh, but she really, really wants to catch and uh, kill oh. almost all of you. Mm -hmm. Almost all. Who is she, she not interested in? Well, um, I, 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 she did not. She has not spoken to me directly, but uh, I assume that uh, if she catches uh, you, Egbert, she will just add you to the rest of the crew in the hold uh, who look exactly oh, like you do. And, um, Unbelievable. Uh, it's a ship uh, full of Egberts. Unquestioningly, do not um, question her, her uh, leadership uh, or her divine right to uh, take over all the entirety <laughs> of Geth. Right. Mm. Why is is that? Uh, am I missing something? No, no, no. That's, that's fine. It. That's, that's good. the whole thing. Just glad we're definitely the good guys, and she's definitely the bad guy. Okay. Well, uh, if saying. you are uh, ready, uh, Corazon. Yes, I've had an isotonic sports grog. Excellent. Um, I'm fully Ooh. hydrated. That sounds delicious. Uh, well, um, in do, that do case, you wanna, like, uh, do you want someone to slap you across the face? <laughs> no, no. I'll do it, you know. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, Prudence. I'll Get take one. There. I'll take one. I, sl oh, I slap Rust across the face to psych him up. <laughs> he is like well, properly like. Unfair, all right, Bruce, slap me as well. I don't want him having an all right. unfair. Well, advice. I had to slap someone. <laughs> right. You should um, probably slap so Corazon so twice fair. because we need him to win. No, so it's fair. Yeah. I slap everyone across the face once just to get everyone like psyched and pumped like a three up to have a bit. duel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a proper an exciting <laughs> duel. <laughs> um, Russ says, well, in, in that case, um, he lowers himself into a fighting stance and he says, as we say in the trade, roll for initiative. All right, I'll try uh, and comes. you and I shall roll for initiative. Okay, here we go. Will Corazon be able to defeat his old friend Rust on the harbour? Will the joyful damnation be able to stay ahead of her pursuers? And what should we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Find out tomorrow in the exciting conclusion on Outside Xbox and subscribe now so you never miss an episode.